So on this one, we have the faraway castle. Uh, on the top there, it says, notice the slow tempo or lento. Uh, play the broken octaves gracefully. Let your wrist uh, rise gently to a light thumb. On this one, it's kind of interesting because it says to use pedal. And if you notice, when you play a nice short sound, On this one, we have a, some pedal indications here. What we're going to actually do is just make that last um, note really short. So when you're holding the pedal down and you play that E, really lift off of the pedal pretty quick to give it that nice staccato-like effect. So there's a kind of a lot of little subtle details that are going into this. So when you're playing these, so that's where we're going to lift both lift that thumb off really quick to create that staccato as well as the pedal. So both of these are coming off pretty quick. So it's creating almost like a kind of a sense of mystery or discovery. You're not quite sure where this kind of piece is going. So here we have... Um, when we look at our time signature, we have six, eight. So we're going to be counting these like a one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way through. One, two, three, four, five, six. On that last one, we have an A sharp. So we're going up to the A sharp. Remember all those. We're going to play that black E, and then we go on measure four to the B. So you have E, D, C, B, A. Going up now to A up again to B. Then we're going to repeat that pattern. Going down to G on this one. So measure six, we're going to um, C and then jump down to G. So remembering that space there, going up to A. A sharp, measure eight is uh, B again. So let's do, we're going to add in the right hand. So you have E and G. Uh, I think what they're doing here with one and four is kind of helping you a little bit with the fingering. So on measure four, we're going to drop down. Both of those are going to be half steps down. That would be a really good exercise to just kind of uh, try. So when you're playing one, four, then use your two, three on that D sharp and F sharp. Both of those are going to be sharps. So when you're playing those, uh, before you even start this piece, kind of try that, that, that technique motion there. Then on measure uh, seven, you have a one, three, so E and F sharp, back to your one, four. On eight, we're gonna have that six, so that's our interval G to E, and then we're dropping down, half step on the arm. Both of those are gonna be uh, sharps there, dropping down, half step. So let's try the uh, first part here, practicing that pedal really quick lift on that left hand. slow that's kind of a new section there so you can slow up the tempo while kind of letting the audience know or the listener that we're kind of ending that section and restarting a new, a new place here and we go down to G we go to our six here also too if you notice on measure three it says uh, pedal simile or very kind of the same so we're going to repeat that same pedal mark um, a lot of times you'll see that in music where they they will say you know just continue the pedaling it's the same pedaling uh, all the way through uh, they just don't have it written down to for to, to make it less confusing or, or, or whatever so um, let's go to measure nine on this one we have a and D sharp so on this one, use your one and then four on that D sharp, that black E, one, two, three, and then we have our six here again, G and E, one, two, three, one, two, three. On measure 10, we have uh, our F sharp there, so a thumb is going to drop down, F sharp, C, E, and then we return back to A and D sharp. Left hand is going to be B, so you have one, two, three, one, two, three, reach down, that F sharp, one, two, three. On these, we have a repeat, so we're going to repeat just those two measures nice and loud on the first one. When you repeat, 
piano, nice and soft. Bum. Repeat. Then I'll measure 11. So we have that right hand. This is our, um, our six here. Then we're going to return back to the A, B sharp. Going again, same thing. Uh, if you notice, we have that slur there, so we're connecting these notes. I was probably not doing very good with my connections, but let's do one, five, and then if you have the, if you can stretch from the two, four, that's a great way to really connect those notes. That's also another good exercise. You can play those exercises. One, two, three, 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 reach up to B, G, and then down. Back to your, uh, six there left hand you have an e down to b we're going up remember your f sharp on this one ba -dum, rest, ba -dum. so that pattern ba -dum, f sharp b last one we're going down to e and then up to b e so that's also our kind of an octave stretch there ba -dum. Let's do 11, same pattern here with your uh, right hand first, right, left hand, uh, make sure those are also nice, left, bottom. reach up to B, okay, let's try, uh, let's try this whole thing. So we have a start with the piano, nice and soft. We're gonna continue up to mezzo forte. Uh, also kind of noticing the dynamics here. Uh, the only time that we're really playing forte is that measure nine and 10. So kind of saving up the dynamics for nice and loud on those two measures. And then for the most part, this piece is kind of a softer, uh, kind of mysterious uh, piece here. So nice and soft. <laughs> 